Hello YouTubers, what is up? This is SS99 here and I'm going to use a my um, Harpy deck in real life instead of on DevPro and let's just go ahead and get started. Now what I'll do is I'll just um, tell you what I got, ex explain the effects and why I run it and then in the end I can, I'll can i tell you guys some really sick strategies. So anyway, um, I run three Harpy Chandler. Harpy Chandler is your uh, main Harpy the deck you ditch a harpy you get another harpy or you can get pet dragon for a rank 7 play which is good I run three harpy queens harpy queen is your deck thinner you um, ditch her and you get a harpy's hunting ground in your hand or she's a 1900 beat stick so she is really awesome then I run triple harpy lady one I know that people don't usually like to run Harpy Lady 1. Some people like to run uh, two Cyber Harpies and like one Harpy Lady 1, but I love Harpy Lady 1. If you have more than one in the field, you pretty much got a lot of power on the field already. Like if you have Harpy Queen and you got three of these on the field, um, that's like 900 attack points for Harpy Queen, which puts her at 28. And if you have Harpy Hunting Ground, it puts her at 3,000, which it would be as tough as Blue Eyes. I run two Dancer. I don't like to run three because three's dead to me but if you want to run three go ahead but she's your uh, back row popper basically because if you, have, if you have harpy's hunting ground on the field and you return her to the hand it pops and then summon her again it pops another back row and there's something else that I'm going to discuss with her about her later uh, two summoner monk you run a lot of spell cards so he's a must have and plus he's an instant way to get your uh, Zephyros the Elite which I will explain the strategies with him in just a second and then I only run one Harpy's Pet Dragon. Some people like to run two, but I only like to run one because I tried running two and I didn't like it. Because you always draw in a, though, at least one. I like rank seven plays as much as the average guy does, but it's too inconsistent. Next we run three Hysteric Signs. Uh, hysteric Sign is just too broken. And I'm praying to God that it does not get hit by the ban list next format because it's great. If it goes from your hand to the graveyard or the field to the graveyard, you get three harpies in your hand. End of discussion. Uh, I don't think they'll hit it because it's not tier one, but it's amazing. I run three harpies hunting ground. Um, this is your back row popper. Every time you normal or special summon a harpy, you get to pop the back row on your opponent's side of the field. And that, that's where a harpy dancer comes into play. And also, she's also helpful for Divine Wind Miss Valley. I know very few people run this, but I love it. It's just a way to OTK. And if it's dead, then just go ahead and ditch it with Summoner Monk. Or if you have Harpy Chandler, just special summon a Harpy Dancer from your deck, activate its effect, special or to normal summon her again, then special summon another wind from your deck, which is really awesome. Then I run the one elegant egotist. Elegant Egotist, you only really need one because you only have three Harpy Ladies in your deck and you have Hysteric Sign to get it back. And plus, odds are you're going to draw into her anyway. So, yeah. Just all, one's all you need. Two is dead. Then your staples, which are uh, Book of Moon and Dark Hole. And I run one MST because you don't, only, you don't always um, draw into Harpy's Hunting Ground and Harpy's. And plus, it's just another way to counteract like Fire Fist or something. But uh, yeah, really good card. Now onto the traps. I run three hysteric son or I'm sorry, hysteric parties. People like to run two. I like three. It is too broken. You all you have to do is ditch a card in your hand, and you can summon as many harpy ladies as possible from your graveyard. Way too good. Way too awesome. Just amazing. Then I run triple fiendish chain. This is um. Just a card that replaces Effect Veiler because I don't like Effect Veiler. But, uh, yeah, you know, it, it. you pretty much just negate any effect that your, your monster effect that your opponent tries to ditch at you. I run, run uh, one Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. This is just another way to ditch a card in your hand, such as Hysteric Sign. And you return a card on your opponent's side of the field to the top of the deck for a dead draw, which is awesome. Two Icarus Attacks. Um... You run a Winged Beast deck, but I'm thinking about replacing these, actually, because they never really came in handy. And where Harpies are not, like, the most consistent deck in the world, you, I don't think it's a good idea to run Icarus Attack. I'll, it's pretty much until I get something else. Um, 
I want I have one magical hats, but I want to run two, which is probably what I'm going to replace uh, one of the Icarus attacks with is another magical hats because what you do is you start, like whenever your opponent declares an attack or just during their battle phase, you activate it and your monster gets flipped face down. Then you choose two non monsters in your deck, like spells or trap cards, and put them face down. And that's why I get um, one hysteric sign. That's why another way to get hysteric sign in the graveyard. That way you can get harpies in your hand, which is cool. And I'm wanting to replace the other Icarus attack with Solemn Warning because I don't have an extra Solemn Warning. That, that one's in my Blackwing deck. And then your Staple Traps, which are Compulse, Torrential, uh, Mirror Force, and Bottomless Trap Hole. Just your Staples. You have to run those unless you run Mermels or whatever, I guess. Um, On to the extra deck. This extra deck is not complete, but I will tell you what I will replace and what I want. I, I run Triple... Chidori. Chidori is just too good. You summon him, and your mo your opponent, um, you select an, your opponent's set card, and it goes to the bottom, then you detach, and that card goes to the top of their deck, which gives them another dead draw. Too good. I like three. I know people like two, but three has not let me down yet. Then I run a Mace Stroke. Um, yeah, she's just your, gen or he or she's just your generic, uh, you know, rank four. You have to run it. I run one Silent Honor Arc, the ultimate rare that I've cracked. <laughs> um, yeah, he's just too good. You have to run him. Black Ship of Corn, um, Photon Propeller Operative, Diamond Dire Wolf, Ga 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 Cowboy, just your generic um, rank fours that a lot of people run. Um, I'm going to cut, probably cut Photon Propeller Operative because it doesn't really come in handy too much for me. So, yeah, I'll probably cut that. Um, then we run one Ice Beast Zerifine. Um This card's just too good. It pretty much takes a dump on uh, Noble Knights. Uh, Master Key Beetle. You what you do is you uh, you you need two darks, but that's where some, the Summoner Monk and Blackwing um, Sephiroth the Elite comes in. Uh, one Pet Phantasmal Dragon. This card's way too good. It's just a way to say I'm going to deal six thousand damage to your opponent slap points, and you can't do anything about it. Unless you decide to activate Mirror Force, Dark Hole, or Torrential Tribute. And of course, Big Eye, your generic rank 7. How many is that? That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's 13. Like I said, it's incomplete. But I'm wanting to get um, Evil Swarm, Exiton Knight, Degusto, Emerald, and I'm wanting to replace um, Photon, Pepple, Operative with like a Draco Sack or something. I mean, you have to run Draco Sack. He's too good. Okay, now on to the side deck. You want to run Thunder King Ryo. This is just to counteract pretty much everything that adds to the hand. And I know, I know it'll hurt Hysteric Sign, but he's only at one, so it's very rare that it'll hurt. Max C. This is just for anything that special summons a lot, like Gear Guz. This this will stop the opponent from special summoning because they won't want to unless they're stupid. Xe's Encore. Um, this is just for every deck, really. Um, I mainly use this for like the Mermails when they run that uh, one uh, card that negates the effects on the field. I forgot what its name is, but yeah, it's just too good to run, not running your side deck. Goes in match. Um, uh, you do run Wind and Dark Monsters, but you mostly run Wind. And if you have Draco Sack and Chidori, then you're pretty much set. This can shut down pretty good decks. Imperial Iron Wall, this is mainly for um, Bujins. And pretty much anything that vanishes. And plus, if you're up against Mermails, they can't summon Tidal. Uh, DNA Surgery. This is for uh, Bujins again. Um, Bujins. And, well, just. And Gear Goes, of course. Like, they can't go into Gear Giga X, which slows down their plays. Pretty awesome. Then I run two Light Imprisoned Mirrors, once again for Bujins, but also for Constellars and Noble Knights. And Shadow Imprisoned Mirror for Dark Worlds and Noble Knights. And whatnot. So yeah, that's the side deck. If you guys have any advice on what I should put in my side deck, just let me know because I'm thinking about replacing the shadow and prisoning mirrors. And let's go ahead and talk about some combos. Some really, really sick combos that I like. So if you guys are just here to check out the profile, just go ahead and click the close button and have an awesome day or awesome weekend. It, it is Friday. Thank God it's Friday. So yeah, let's go ahead and talk about some combos. Um, well, like I said, 
about Chandler. Chandler is your core. Um, a really good strategy is if you have a dead Divine Win and you have Chandler in your hand, just ditch a Harpy and you can special summon Dancer. And then, all thanks to Dancer's effect, what you do is you return her to the hand, normal summon a Harpy, or you can normal summon her again. And then that's another Harpy that you can summon, which is like Harpy Lady 1 or something, whatever you want to do. And then that's an instant pet Phantasmal Dragon, or you, if you want a Chidori of them, you can go to Chidori or Ice Beast. I mean, your options are pretty much high, which is really cool. The Divine Wind Mist Valley is too good to not run. I mean, it's it's at one, but it's really really broken, really really good. Um, and of course, everybody, I think everyone knows this. You summon Summoner Monk, activate. Of course, he has to be in defense mode. Activate his effect to ditch a uh, Hysteric Sign. And then you special summon any level 4 from your deck. If you have a dead pet dragon, I'd recommend getting Harpy Chandler. And then ditch the pet dragon from your hand to special summon another Harpy. Um, but that's just my personal preference. I mean, or, of course, you can go into Black Wings of Pharos and overlay for like a Master Key Beetle, which is really cool. Uh, sorry, I should probably put it in the center. <laughs> But yeah, you can overlay for Master Key Beetle or Maze Stroke or whatever makes you feel comfortable. But if you do have Key Beetle, detach Zephyros. That way, later on, you can um, make some plays with this effect, which I'll get to right now, actually. So yeah, that's awesome, really broken. So anyway, Hysteric Party. You have all these Harpies on the field, and you've already used them to XE summon into a lot of stuff. And then your Xyz monsters get destroyed, and you've got nothing to work with. But you have a Black Wings of Feroz the Elite in your graveyard. All you have to do is activate his effect, turn this to the hand, special summon him again, set it again. And then next turn, bam, you get your Harpies back, which is really cool. And you run three in this deck, so you can pretty much summon your Harpies from your graveyard up to four times, which is ridiculous. I love Black Wings of Feroz the Elite. He is too good of a card not to run. And of course, for those who don't know, if you have Chandler on the field, you can ditch a Harpy, and you can, you're can you allowed to summon Pet Dragon from your deck. You only want to, want to run one of these, and that's an instant big hour Draco Sack. If it's your first turn, I'd recommend going to the Draco Sack. I don't have Draco Sack yet because he's a lot of money to spend on for one card, but I do plan on getting him, hopefully. But if it's your second turn and you're in a pickle, just you know, get that big guy out in the field. And, um, is there anything else? Um, yeah, I just want to talk about one more thing. Well, a few more things and I'll leave you alone. This is a really sick hand that I have just came, that always comes up to me for some reason. You have Harpy Lady 1. And... In your hand, you have an Elegant Egotist and a Hysteric Sign. You activate Elegant Egotist to special summon your Harpy. Then you activate Hysteric Sign to get Elegant Egotist back to your hand. Activate it again, and then you get a third Harpy on the field. Really broken, and then they're all 2200 beat sticks. Really good. This is the reason why I like Harpy Lady 1, because of this combo. And I love that. That's just, that's just too good to not run. And of course, your magical hats, um, what you do is you set it, and I'll go ahead and get these off the field. If, for some reason, you don't want your opponent to destroy that, and you need a, some more harpies in your hand, flip that face down, get Hysteric Sign, and any spell and trap card that you don't, you are for sure that you don't need, like this Icarus Attack, I'm going to, I don't like Icarus Attack in this deck, I know some people do, but I don't, so I'm going to replace it eventually, but... I don't like to run breakthrough skill either for that combo because I don't know I just think it's dead but yeah so you get all your um, your cards face down and even if they destroy your monster and they don't destroy your uh, hysteric sign your hysteric sign and your Icarus attack is gonna go into your graveyard at the end and then during your end phase you get three harpies too good too broken and that's pretty much it guys um, thank you for watching if you did watch, and hopefully I'll be doing this more often. And yeah, have an awesome day. Peace.